continue our discussion on power amplifiers. Just to remind you few points in power amplifiers because almost the whole region active region is uh, used because of large current and voltage swings. So, non-linearities uh, are required and uh, are there uh, are present and because of these non-linearities the analysis which we did in the small signal case based on some fixed parameters like current gain beta and so on that does not prove to be accurate. So, graphical analysis is done and for the graphical analysis as we were discussing that uh, a load line is very useful and AC and DC load lines are different because the impedance seen by the uh, by the collector uh, is different in the two cases and when we were discussing the AC load line then the components of uh, AC load line these were IC saturation is ICQ plus V C E Q by R C plus R E and V C E cutoff is V C E Q plus I C Q R C plus R E. These two expressions we got and they represent the true points of extreme points of the load line. This is the saturation point, this is the cutoff point and these two expressions were obtained. Now, with this what we we have said is this this is I C and this is V C E and this is the Q point then this is how this is the operating point value I C Q and this voltage here this is V C E Q and uh, this current will vary across this operating point from this region to this region. Similarly, the voltage will vary from this region to this region. So, this is from center to the peak is uh, V C E Q and uh, this point this point is uh, V C C which is equal to actually because for the central point V twice of 
V C E Q this point. This is minimum voltage, this is maximum voltage. Similarly, here this is uh, the minimum current I C maximum and I C minimum. And the minimum and maximum voltages are here. This is minimum voltage, this is maximum voltage. I can write here V C E minimum and this point is I C E maximum. And this uh, we are going to use this concept of, uh, of uh, AC load line we are going to use for the analysis. So now actually we start the analysis of uh, class A power amplifier and for that we find out what is the maximum output power output AC power we are we are concerned with AC power AC power and efficiency and efficiency of class A amplifier to carry on the analysis we do some simplifications and these simplifications are that I C minimum this 0 starts from here and this is slightly actually more than 0. So, we take it as 0 I C minimum we take as 0. So, the first simplification simplification or approximation is that I C minimum we take at 0 and this maximum current we take slightly above this point which is actually uh, the twice of I C Q point just I C set we take. So, I C minimum we take as 0 and I C max these points will become again clear and the approximation which they they will be bringing to the analysis is just few percent which is tolerable in all electronic circuits and uh, this I C max is taken as 2 I C Q and uh, so actually this we are taking as I C set and uh, similarly similarly minimum voltage this voltage is V C E minimum we are taking it at 0 and look here this was the maximum voltage which we are taking at this point. So, this approximation brings V C E minimum as 0 and V C E maximum as 2 V C E Q. These uh, simplifications approximations they are just uh, very near to the real situation and uh, the analysis because of these simplifications becomes very simple. This we will see that uh, the analysis becomes very simple. So, what actually 
with these simplifications mean that the whole region of, uh, uh, of the output characteristics we have slightly extended little towards the cutoff that also we have included in the active region and the portion a small portion in the saturation uh, region that is also now becomes the part of the uh, active region. So, the whole the active uh, region has been slightly extended because of these approximations and what we get is this here and uh, this is uh, V C E and uh, this is I C. This is the saturation point, saturation point, this is the cutoff point, cutoff point, and this is the Q point. And for the optimum use, maximum power delivery to the load, we will have to use this whole region extending from 0 to this point which is V C C and uh, since this is V C E Q. So, this is double of that because it is in the center. Similarly, this is I C Q. So, this point is 0, this is in the center. So, hence this becomes twice I C Q. And now here this And similarly, here this will be the current I C. Now, this is the peak value of the voltage V P this is V p and this is equal to V c e q. Similarly, here same and here this is the peak value of current peak value of peak current peak value or peak value uh, peak current is this. Now, once we know these peak values, this is the AC current in the output circuit, this is the voltage AC voltage, then the output AC power because our objective was what was the maximum output power in class A amplifier and what is the efficiency conversion efficiency of class A amplifier. So, the output AC power this is we write as P O, O for output power. So, P O is RMS voltage into RMS current product of RMS voltage to RMS current. Now, from this figure we see that the peak current peak current I p this is I p peak current I p this is equal to I c q. because this is I C Q. And uh, the peak voltage from here P 
peak voltage Vp as here Vceq. Therefore, we these are the peak values RMS values we can write and we can write the expression for the output current uh, output uh, power. The output power PO therefore is VCEQ by root 2 into ICQ by root 2 therefore in class A operation the maximum power is half of the product of VCEQ ICQ by 2 this is the maximum power. So, that will depend on what is the current here, what is the voltage here and depending on how much power you want we will have to use a transistor of that power. For example, if this current here is uh, 2 milliamperes and this is uh, 5 volts then 5 into 2 amperes 10 watts is the this product divided by 2. So, the maximum output power will be 5 watts. So, this expression we have to keep in mind and remember that this we have derived for the central Q and when the whole region of the active uh, characteristics active region of the characteristics is being used. So, this is uh, the maximum power maximum output power for optimum design amplifier design that means central Q and swing is in the whole uh, region. Now, what is the conversion efficiency? The next thing we are going to have is the conversion efficiency. Conversion efficiency and as I said in the beginning the con by conversion efficiency we mean what fraction of uh, a DC power which we are supplying to the circuit is available as AC. So, because after all from where the AC power will come as for example, we saw the 5 watts AC power, but from where will it come? It comes from the DC power. So, eta normally efficiency is written in eta and it is expressed in percent. So, this is uh, average AC power delivered to the load and uh, this is the average DC power drawn by the circuit. As a convention in this DC power we consider only the power um, which is taken at the collector circuit. So, this power power only taken at collector. That means, we are ignoring, we ignore the small power which is uh, taken by bias registers. We ignore power consumption by biasing 
registers always always when we cons we take the conversion efficiency then we top average ac power delivered to the load by average dc power taken by the collector circuit so this will we will calculate and calculation is uh, very simple that the dc source voltage source here this is vcc which is of course equal to 2 vcq so dc power delivered to the circuit is the voltage is vcc and the current drawn is icq that is the current in the absence of the signal it draws the current icq and uh, the voltage which we are applying is vcc and this becomes pdc is equal to 2 vceq into icq this is because vcc is equal to 2 vceq so this is the dc current and uh, this is the ac current ac power dc power the ratio of the two is vceq icq by 2 and then divide by this so 1 by 2 vceq and into icq and when we are interested as I said normally they are expressed in percent multiplied by 100. So, this cancels and this is 100 by 4 so 25 percent. Conversion efficiency in class A operation RC coupled the circuit which uh, we took in the beginning that is a RC coupled circuit and uh, for the RC coupled class A amplifier efficiency is 25 percent. That means for getting 10 watts of power in class A operation we will have to supply 40 watts of DC power. So, this is the efficiency and mind it this is the best possible and for the optimum design. By optimum design again I repeat that we have taken the operating point at the center of the load line and the whole region of uh, the active uh, region is being utilized. Now, in fact, we can find out the condition whether the design of the circuit is uh, really optimum or not. For that, there is a very simple test that for the optimum result as uh, we, we are seeing that uh, I C set this is equal to 2 I C Q. This point I C set is 2 I C Q. Now, in the equation which uh, we derived here in the beginning that I C set is equal to this. So, now if we put this as 2 I C Q we get a condition and that condition is we remember I C set is 2 I C Q. So, I C set equal to 2 I C Q which is equal to I C Q plus V C E Q by R C plus R E and from here we get the simple relation that R C 
plus R E should be equal to V C E Q by I C Q. This is if this condition is met, what does this condition say? This condition says that the effective AC impedance seen by the collector plus the effective impedance seen by the emitter, if we sum up the two, this should come equal to the ratio of the, the voltage V C E Q at the Q point and the current I C Q. If this condition is satisfied, then we can directly use these expressions and uh, the efficiency we will find maximum is 25 percent. Or if you are given just any circuit, you find out what is V C E Q and I C Q and use those exact values in the expression, then we will get the, the efficiency uh, for that circuit. So, this is about uh, the RC coupled class A amplifier, power amplifier and just to remind you RC coupled, this is R and this is this was load, this is R C plus V C C. So, R C coupling very widely used, but for that the efficiency is 25 percent, but then the question comes can we increase this efficiency? For R C coupled maximum theoretical efficiency is 25 percent. If we replace R C coupling by instead of R C coupled load, if we take a transformer coupled load, then the efficiency can be increased to 50 percent. You, you realize one point that even in the absence of the AC signal, because the quotient current, the operating point current it is I C Q and the product is with the voltage which will be existing. This current, this much power even in the absence of the AC signal continues to be consumed by the circuit and this is actually this can be saved. In, if this resistance is replaced by the primary of a transformer, then this much power which is half of the DC power. You remember DC power ever we have seen is twice of this only. So, half power we are wasting uh, in this uh, uh, RC and this can be saved, but then we move to transformer coupled. Transformer coupled class a amplifier. Now, here that this is the simple design, this is the primary of the transformer and this is the load R L. There we were using the capacitor coupled load and this capacitor and this load can be coupled through the transformer also, where this is the number of primary uh, turns and this is N S secondary turns and the effective load R L prime reflected load will be N P by N S where N P is the number of turns in the primary, N S the number of turns in the secondary, this is square into R L. This will be the effective load. The DC uh, resistance, DC resistance of the primary is almost 0. So, the DC load line will be vertical. 
see here these are the characteristics so this is here this is the q point and this is dc load line because resistance dc resistance is almost zero and you remember that uh, the slope slope is minus 1 by r r l or r c whatever it is now this is close to zero so slope is infinity that means it is vertical and of course this is ic this is vce and this is the ac load line where this is twice icq and this is twice uh, of now now we can use directly uh, vcc as, as q point so this will be twice vcc and this this will go like that across this point there will be this kind of variation and this is uh, vcc in this case vcc is vce q and the ac power as we have done above this was vce q ic q by 2 and because these are equal so this can be written as vcc into icq by 2 and uh, icq is icq is equal to vcc by the effective load which i i wrote rl prime and dc power this is so the ac power becomes we substitute for ic p o maximum is vcc into icq and for icq we write vcc by rl prime and 2 this 2 so this is the for the transformer coupled class a amplifier this is the maximum output power and dc power is VCEQ by IC into ICQ. But as I said, VCEQ now we have taken earlier in the earlier case half of the power was being taken by the coil uh, by the resistance RC. But now that resistance has been replaced with almost zero resistance of the primary of the transformer hence we are saving that much consumption so this is equal to pdc is uh, vcc into icq and uh, icq we replace by the expression vcc by rl prime so this is equal to vcc square rl prime this is dc power ac power the ratio is uh, p0 pdc into 100 and this is vcc square rl prime rl prime by vcc square into 100 so this is eta comes out to be 50 percent for transformer coupled class A amplifier efficiency will be close to 50 in practice 45 percent 48 percent will be there and uh, this transformer also saves the the capacitor effect that means this will not permit DC to be coupled to the load as this capacitor does through this capacitor DC cannot pass so in the load only the AC uh, operates same is true here because through transformer if through this uh, transformer the DC will be checked 
plus this relation effective load this also has a advantage because by adjusting this ratio we can get the match load for maximum transfer to the load. So, these are the advantages, but still the use of transformer coupled class A amplifier is uh, limited, restricted because the transformer is bulky and frequency response uh, if it has to be good then these transformers are expensive. Now, the last thing about uh, what is the requirement, how much power the uh, transistor device, transistor has to dissipate. Because in power amplifiers, if your transistor is capable of uh, dissipating 5 watts, then obviously you cannot use, you cannot get power 10 watts uh, uh, from these transistors. They, that uh, high current will burn the transistors. So, this is power dissipation by the device, by the device the transistor. And this is written as P D dissipation max. Now, in the operation, we have seen that actually AC currents and voltages, they will vary. The currents will vary from 0 to 2 C Q, similarly the voltage will vary. Therefore, the dissipation will keep on varying. The dissipation will be highest here and least here. But it can be shown that maximum dissipation occurs in the absence of the signal. That means at the Q point. So, the P D max is actually the P D at Q point and which is equal to V C E Q into I C Q. You remember that uh, P O max was half of it. So, V C E Q I C Q by 2. So, there from these two equations we can write that P D max is equal to twice P O. Very important relation for class A operation. And it says that if output power is say 10 watts, then 10 into 2 that means 20 watts, the device should be capable of, of uh, dissipating 20 watts. That means, double of what you are getting as at the output. This is another thing which is uh, not very favorable in the case of uh, class A operation. For, for 50 watts of output power, we require transistors which can dissipate 100 watts. So, but that is a big power and the cost of that transistor will be much higher. So, this is all about uh, class A operation. Just in summary, for RC coupled load, the efficiency of class A operation is 25 percent. And uh, but out of all the class A, class B, and class C amplifiers, class A gives the most distortion free output. So, that is uh, the point and uh, the efficiency of course can be increased in transformer coupled amplifier and maximum power to be dissipated by the device is twice that of the output power available. Now that finishes our class A operation. We now go for class B. class B amplifiers and the particular uh, amplifier which is actually most widely used that, that is the one which is uh, used that is class B push pull amplifier.
pushpal amplifier. We said that in class B operation, the operating point is chosen at uh, cutoff point. That means here. This is the AC load line. This is the saturation point. Saturation point, and this is the cutoff point. This is IC. This is VCE. And uh, this is cutoff point, and this is also Q point. The Q point. and see what will happen. That means, that current is 0, current is 0 at operating point, current is 0 at operating point. Now, how we get this? This, this means that the emitter junctions initially will have no uh, biasing voltage, so they will be off. But emitter junction, emitter base junction gets forward bias from the input signal here. When we apply the input, I will show you, this will become clear when we take uh, the actual circuit, but you just understand that uh, the emitter base junction will get forward bias by for example, by the uh, by the part of the input signal and then it will move to the uh, active region and conduction will occur. So, let us see this way actually this is the circuit. This part will go towards the cutoff, it will not appear. Only these portions will appear in the current. This is current and this will appear like this. These halves will forward bias the, the, the input signal is here and depending on the device either this will forward bias the emitter base junction or this we will see soon. So, this portions will appear in the output current while they will be absent like here it is absent blank only the output will contain pulses like that. They are not useful as I said in the beginning. So, we use two transistors. These are complementary transistors. One is NPN transistor, NPN transistor here, NPN. So, N P N and the other is PNP. PNP transistor and that is this. This is P, this is P, this is N. So, they are connected what is called push-pull amplifier, push-pull connection, a very special connection, push-pull class B amplifier. and this is this, a simplified form, actual forms we will draw little later. 
but to understand the principle These are the two transistors, this is NPN and this is PNP, this is PNP and their emitters are connected together and to the common emitter the load is connected. So, this is actually the connection of the, the transistors are being used because we are taking output from the load connected to the emitter. So, it is emitter follower, emitter follower circuit which is most widely used. This can be constructed with the common emitter configuration also, but most common is this. Now, you will understand what I said. NPN transistor now input signal is this, this is V i and this is 0 volt and this is time. NPN needs the base needs positive pulse positive voltage for forward bias. So, this portion will forward bias the NPN junction at the same time so reverse bias the emitter of the PNP transistor. Hence, PNP will be non-conducting for this part and the upper transistor the NPN transistor will conduct. Therefore, we will get at the output this is V out and this is time amplified output we will get because of NPN. In the same way this negative pulse will forward bias the emitter junction of PNP. So, and this will conduct and this voltage will reverse bias NPN this will not conduct. <coughs> so, the other halves will appear because of of uh, PNP. This portion from NPN similarly this will continue and the lower portions will be coming from uh, PNP. This is push pull action and we get a complete uh, waveform from the sinusoidal input uh, waveform and the two transistors have be have to be used in the push pull connection. This is push pull action. I briefly repeat that we, we take the operating point at cut off and if we use just one transistor then the portion of the input signal will forward by the emitter and only that part will appear not the other. So, that will not be of much use as in this case. So, we make use of the circuit in a different form. We modify the circuit, use push-pull connection and make use of two transistors and they give this uh, complete output because the upper half will forward bias NPN transistor and lower half will forward bias the PNP transistor and hence complete waveforms we will get. We are continuing with the analysis of this, but before that we should see that uh, in class B operation signal distortion occurs actually and there are two types of signal distortion. Signal distortion in class B operation in class B amplifier. 
there are two types of distortions which occur and this is two types. One is non-linear distortion which is also called the harmonic distortion, harmonic. in which the, the, the frequencies in the output will be multiples, other components of frequency will also be there. For example, if omega t is the input frequency uh, omega, then 2 omega, 3 omega, 4 omega, these are the harmonics which may also appear in the output and the reason for this distortion is the non-linearity and uh, we will see that in a well symmetrical design two halves of the push pull amplifier when they are made symmetric then actually uh, this is largely taken care of, largely taken care of and uh, the other kind of distortion is called crossover. crossover distortion. This occurs for a different region and this will amount for a distortion which can be corrected by moving the operating point not exactly at the cutoff, but slightly above and this is called tickle current, trickle current. You will see this and how it is provided and then this distortion can be taken care of. But once we move the operating point from the center slightly above in the active region, then it is not a pure B operation. In that case, it will be called a B operation because this crossover distortion is uh, important and uh, we can get rid of by choosing slightly different uh, operating point. So, almost all class B amplifiers, push pull amplifiers are actually they are operated AB, uh, AB, uh, AB amplifiers and uh, this will be seen, th this will be seen. Now, the distortions can be uh, tackled and uh, we will finally see that the outputs are largely free from all kinds of distortions and uh, we will we'll continue the analysis. The efficiency of class B amplifier is very high, it is more than 75 percent. Practical efficiencies also may touch 70 percent or so which is much higher.